To everyone who has come from my Instagram page and is now frequently checking out my YouTube videos, I really do appreciate it, okay? So thank you so much. Um, what we're gonna be talking about today is when someone has lost interest in you that you're dating or someone that you're in a relationship with, how is it that you counteract that? How is it that you get them to start liking you again? How is it that you have the correct mindset in order to reattract them, okay? And to get into this, I first need to explain um, what someone's level of interest in you is, is made up of, or wh what is it equal to. Someone's level of interest in you, or someone's perception of you, period, is a weighted average of how you have behaved with them from the moment you met them until the most recent time you've met them, okay? And it's a weighted average of your behavior across all of that time. But it's disproportionately got an emphasis on the most recent times you have met them, okay? And what I mean by this is, let me give you an example. If I have met someone 10 times across the past five years, and the first five times I met them, they were really nice and friendly, shook my hand, smiled, made loads of jokes. But the most recent five times I've met them, they have sworn at me, been very cold, very distant, and then punched me in the face the last time I met them. My impression of that person is predominantly going to be a violent, angry, elusive, um, cold, distant person. Rightfully so, okay? So that's how other people perceive you. They're very heavily focused on the last few times they've met you, okay? Now what this means is if someone is losing interest in you, it most likely means one of two things. Either you have become low value recently, the last few times they've encountered you, you have given them low value behavior, or you've implied that you're a low value person, or you're emulating behavior of a low value person, or they are looking, or they are being allured by someone who is displaying more high value behavior than you, unfortunately, okay? That, that is a potential, and I'm not gonna sit here and try to put a cherry on the cake for you guys and lie, that, that's very much a potential. A lot of times people lose interest is because their eyes are elsewhere where someone's displaying higher value. But not to worry, I'm not making a video to depress you, I do, I do have some actual actionable practical steps we can follow, okay? So what do you do if someone's losing interest in you? All you can ever focus on at any given time is the present moment, okay? And read a book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle to help you with this. You cannot go back in the past and change low value behavior you've, you've given up. You cannot go into the future and ensure that all the behavior that you, you conduct is going to be of high value. All you can ever focus on or be in charge of in your life is the present moment, which dictates the future massively. So at this moment in time, you need to start displaying high value behavior. And rest assured, nearly every situation I have ever encountered coaching people on this topic has been able to be brought back. People think that just because someone has slowly started losing interest in them and has become cold, that it's gone, it's a lost cause, no. Guys, there have been people that, co people I've coached, and even myself, we communicate, we haven't communicated with people for months and that person ends up coming back. The situations you think are lost causes certainly might not be. But that doesn't also mean that every single situation someone's losing interest in you, that they will come back if you display high value. It'd be me speculating to, to say that that would always be the case. But what I do know for sure is to give yourself the best possible chance of someone getting interested in you again, display high value from this second on. Okay, don't get into this whole vicious cycle of, oh, I've been low value, so now I need to um, behave in this way to make up for it. No, because that's coming from a low value, needy mindset. And any behavior, any behavior that is coming from the premise of, um, is coming from the premise of neediness or coming from the premise of trying to make up for something else is low value behavior. When you're in a high value mindset, Anything you do is high value, okay? If I'm in a high value abundance mindset where I feel happy with my job, happy with my hobbies, happy with my social life, happy with my abundance of options in the opposite gender, even if I'm spam texting a girl, it's not going to come across as needy, right? Because I'm not always going to be spam texting her. Any behavior a high value person does is high value behavior, okay? So be very, very cautious of the premise of where your actions are coming from. If the premise of your actions are coming from a place of I've been low value, so I now need to be cold with them and be distant with them or say this to them don't do it don't do it because anything you do now is low value you need to focus on getting yourself back into that high value mindset okay and a high value mindset very simply comes from your behavior okay your emotions 
Your emotions are controlled by your behavior, okay? And your behavior is what you are doing day to day. So get yourself into a daily routine where you wake up, you're working out, you're meditating, you're reading, you're working on your hobbies, you've got your job, you're trying out something on the side. Do these things, guys. Your beh- Read a book called Atomic Habits if you want to learn why this is so important. Daily positive habits that drive your emotions, that drive your behavior. If you have a daily routine that touches on your physical, mental, and spiritual needs, you are being high value. From this present moment, you are being high value, okay? And then everyone you interact with, from the point that you start doing this, will see high value behavior. All it takes is them meeting you a few times for their new perception of you to be this high value person. And that's all you need to do. You need to meet people a few times with this new routine you have, this new behavior you have, for them to naturally see that you are high value. Being high value isn't going to unit. It's not like you go to university and study for four years and you're gifted a high value degree. It's not like that. You can become high value today just by behave, but by doing things high value people want to do. Think to yourself, what kind of person do I want to become? Think of the person that you'd like to become and do things every day or build a habit every day that works towards that, okay? So I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. Just focus on being high value from this moment going forward. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave it a like and comment. I know that sounds really cliche to say, but it really does help my videos out and I know what to make more of um, based on how this particular video has done. Thank you.